Hi, as a Young Living representative, I buy a lot of essential oils and I wanted to share this one with you. It's rosemary oil and I find it's very nice for the hair. I'm gonna share also two recipes, one that's a hairspray and one's a volumizing powder and they're all chemical free. So you're probably wondering why is rosemary good? Well, rosemary is really good for your hair. You can massage rosemary essential oils into your scalp after bath or showers. You can add a few drops into your shampoo. You could add some to your conditioner. It would probably be better because it stays on your hair longer. Um, rosemary oil is believed to increase cellular metabolism that stimulates hair regrowth. It's made from cedar wood so it's all natural. It stimulates the hair follicles by increasing circulation to the scalp. Cedar wood can help treat thinning hair and various types of alposia too. And I find a lot of women as they get older, their hair starts thinning, so this works wonderfully. And a lot of men too, all they have to do, I don't actually apply full strength, I usually add a couple drops to oil, like an almond oil. You can do coconut oil too. If you're gonna be doing coconut oil, sometimes that does get thicker, so you might wanna run that under some warm water. Um, so just massage it, massage it into men's hair. About five drops, that's more than enough. Um, it's does promote hair growth so if you are suffering from hair loss or you know somebody that is or it seems difficult to keep it thicker and it's thinning out or it's just lacking luster it can really help stimulate the scalp so just add as many drops as you feel I'm just looking through my notes here you have nice thick hair I can guarantee that but do it regularly, like don't do it for a week and think you're gonna get good results. Do it, like pick a time like every night before bed, rub some in your hair. I do love the Young Living essential oils. I find they're very full strength, like they're not watered down. If you've never tried it, you should try a bottle of Young Living. Once I tried it, there was no turning back. It's fresh and it works and the oils all have such a good smell to them. Some oils can be um, old and they don't have a good smell. So rosemary oil can also help for gray hair. So again, it'll do a lot when you're using it. So let's start with um, our volumizing powder. Get a mixing bowl. If you don't know what this is, if you go into some stores like Lush, they're about $30 for a small bottle, and you can make it right in your own home. They're all naturally made in your own home, this way you know what goes in it. And it helps pick up your roots and lift them. It makes your hair fluffier and thicker looking. And again, we're gonna use rosemary oil in it, which is really nice because it gives you that extra volume and it treats dry, frizzy hair. Rosemary oil is known for that. So, you could do the powder before bed and you'll wake up to a full set of hair, or do it during the day, bring it with you. So what you're gonna need is some cornstarch, the rosemary essential oil, make sure it's pure essential oil. I'll have a link below for it. There's about a few tablespoons of rice flour, and then just a spice shaker you could have at your house, or you could use a different shaker with a lid if you're gonna bring it with you. You just get a mixing bowl, you combine the cornstarch and the rice flour, and then you add a few drops of the rosemary essential oils. You mix it in, you put it in your shaker, and you sprinkle it, up, sprinkle it on your roots. And that's all you really do. And my daughter, she swears by that, she's always got a bottle. She just uses a bottle with a cap, you flip the lid open, she does it before work, and her hair's instantly volumized. Now for the hairspray, we're going to need an oil like a coconut oil or an almond oil. 
and it's nice to use this hairspray because hairspray is very dry and damaging on your hair but this isn't again we're going to be using it with the rosemary and all natural oils so hairsprays have come a long way from the aerosol cans that used to you know put a lot of bad things in the air and now they can actually hydrate and strengthen your hair compared to what they used to do so for this one we're gonna again have the coconut oil the rosemary essential oil and we're gonna get two cups of distilled water and it is better to use distilled water because there's no chemicals again so you just if you're using coconut oil melt it up I don't really use microwaves so I would just melt it in hot water or on a double boiler and add it to a spray bottle along with your distilled water and then add a few drops of your essential oil be sure to shake it well because it does separate in between each use you just spritz it on your dry or damp hair and again it is all natural it's nice um, so with the rosemary I was telling you some things like they're talking about also gray hair I'm not sure on that I should um, start using it more regularly because I can't actually give you an honest answer on that but the people like say there's people with DHT related hair loss if they received rosemary oil for six months at three months they noticed a, a bit of difference and at six months they noticed even more and sometimes your hair is infected because of an unhealthy scalp so rosemary really might help that there's no evidence that rosemary should replace your standard treatments but I just like it and it really again it's all natural so there's nothing better than actually having chemical free products in your house you can feel at ease and you can use them for cleaning in your house and you have no worries and if you have young families or children growing up or husbands and wives you don't really want to worry about the things you're cleaning or using on your body because really they should be chemical free and I know a lot of places claim their stuff is chemical free totally all natural but you know what the minute you smell a fragrance like vanilla fragrance things like that fragrance is a chemical and if you look it up on the internet it's not a healthy chemical this product is all natural they're made from leaves or grass or bark or trees so the smell that you smell with them is all natural it's not made up from a bunch of chemicals so just remember that um, for the gray hair I think I was reading that like you can use a sage oil in combination with this rosemary and a carrier oil and you're supposed to just put a few drops again of your essential oils in with your oil like even an olive oil be fine and then you shake it up and then you just give yourself relaxing massages every now and then and you can leave it on and then you can work it off with the shampoo and conditioner again with rosemary so try it every day for about six months and see what you think about it um, the rosemary oil can counter hair loss by stimulating blood circulation in the scalp which in turn promotes hair growth the oil from the herb helps clean the hair follicle by unclogging them clogged follicles often lead to problems like dandruff so it will even help with dandruff and sometimes when dandruff gets really bad your hair will fall out so look below and click there try some oils and I'm on the other side I can help you with using oils every day in your life and your families can you, you can use it from everything like the young living you can even add drops to your teas and coffees they're healthy and I think everybody should give it a try so even men you can add it to the men's uh, shampoo and conditioners you'll be surprised they'll use it that way men don't seem to ever remember to add a few drops but in their shampoo it's nice or even if you massaged it in in the night before they went to bed 
men don't seem to mind that. And if you use very little, it won't be oily. But I know you're gonna love the volumizing powder and the hairspray. And the volumizing powder, you know what, it's a good thing to make them up for gifts for other people and Sharon. You can even make it and sell it. You could add a couple other essential oils that you like any smell to, like lavender. It's really calming and nice. It mixes well with rosemary. A little bit of lemon maybe, or peppermint. Peppermint would even feel good on your scalp. So another thing, just um, taking them and doing masks to your hair, that's really nice. Just add some essential oils to oil and mask it. I know oil's hard to get out of your hair. So you might really, if you're gonna be doing hair masks, just concentrate more at your scalp level or do it on the day where you're gonna be washing your hair anyhow. It's showing here like for your bath, you can even have it on your body. I'm going to have other videos too, so if you like this one, just like it down below. And I'm going to do other things that rosemary is good for. It's used a lot in cosmetics, rosemary. It's used a lot on your body. And if you want more recipes, I can do that. Rosemary can be used a lot of times in your moisturizing creams, your foot creams. It's just an amazing one to have around the house. So it'd be interesting to try the gray hair one for sure to see if it makes a difference. So if you have gray hair, you should give it a try. And then write below, subscribe and write below what you think and what it did for you or didn't do. Because it's nice to share it with other people. And so for, I, I don't know, I usually just do it like a few drops under the scalp. I do it a lot of times after my shower or bath. I like to keep it on as the last one. Sometimes I mix it up in my hair products too, so I have it. Because if you're putting in your shampoo, you're basically rinsing a lot of it out. But if you add gels to your hair, you're putting it back in. So I'm just showing a bunch of nice thick hair. Your hair does get longer, your hair does get thicker, and it looks healthier. And it's nice to store it in the dark brown bottles or dark bottles because essential oils, it's better to be in dark, cooler places. As you can see, there's an orange and you could even add some orange essential oil. That would make it a really nice scent for either one. The hairspray or the volumizing powder would be nice. A lot of people wonder where essential oils come from. Well, they come right from the leaves like this. They basically just chop them up and then they do the methods that they do. Some people even make it in their house. I don't think it would be as full of strength, but if you have rosemary around, you just chop it up put it in water, you just simmer it, and you'd get some oil from it. And you can buy organic too, which is nice, organic rosemary, if you're gonna do stuff like that. And here it's showing like you get your little clear dish and you can add your oils and a few drops of the rosemary and stir it up. And you can just Pour that into little bottles, even little squirt bottles and have it by your bedside and use that. So the one that I have used is the Young Living essential oil. I'm going to have the link below and if you go through to that you will get it at wholesale prices which is really nice. There's also starter kits, which are fantastic deals because you get all kinds of little oils that you can try. There's smaller samples, but then you know what you like. But I find a lot of the starter kits are oils you're always going to use. So thank you, and I hope I am seeing you more, and we'll be talking more. Enjoy, and get thick hair.